when I hear the word thrashing, trucks grinding would be like probably the first thought. It was hardcore skating more of old school where they slash and grind some it. Guys grinding everything they could think of. Nice, gnarly frontside 5 in a pool. Slashing right through that kill. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked up, man. <laughs> you just got slammed at the bottom of a bowl and you just gotta get up and do it again and just throw the shit down. I mean, seriously, that's what it is. Like I said, I've been skateboarding for over 30 years now, and I've seen basically every kind of skate park you could think of. Like in the old day, if you fell, it was so rough, the concrete, that it would pull your elbow pads or your knee pads off as you're sliding. And then you'd get road rash on your, on your corners there. But uh, nowadays, it's just so smooth, you can just slide out pretty much with ease. The parking Greeley, it's just it's a metal ramp with really rough concrete, so you're going from like a smooth metal to a really rough, rocky concrete, and then there's like a Denver skate park, which is all smooth and really slick, and like you come around a corner and you're just sliding all over because it's so smooth and slick, and then you go to a, any other, like a metal park with concrete, it's really rough, like in an old parking lot. Back in the day, the skate parks really weren't so good. They were the only two around here were Cushing and Ulysses up in Golden and they both were just small parks on a little pad of concrete with little metal metal ramps that you could pretty much order so they're a good place to learn but compared to the parks that are coming out today with um, skateboarding growing and with more more parks being built and more good companies coming up building them now they're some of the worst parks around 10-15 years ago moved into street a lot more and street skating was a lot bigger skating stairs and handrails and trying to stay away from the skate parks and the big ramps five years ago it was mostly street there wasn't many parks around lack of skate parks um, there was a few that I remember it was uh, Cornerstone and Cushing but they didn't have the same kind of like bowls or transitions that they have today Transition in skateboarding is basically it's basically a curved wall that starts at the ground and it curves up to either vert or maybe it doesn't go vertical but it's basically like if you have a bowl like a bowl in your hand the curve on the walls that's basically like the shape of a bowl in skateboarding only a lot smaller and the curve of the wall would be the transition in the bowl or on the half pipe. different styles of riding and skateboarding. Street skating today is mostly handrails, stairs, uh, big gaps. Park skating is skating any skate park really and some skate parks have vert ramps but most of them don't. Vert skating is more the big ramps 12-13 feet high, the big half pipes. And then a mini ramp is anything under maybe like 6 feet, maybe 8 feet. That's just a smaller half pipe. Flatland skateboarding a freestyle, which can be conducted on smooth concrete, which is really perfect for uh, freestyle or flatland tricks. It's really technical tricks that you can use your hands for and stuff like that as well. It's kind of hard to explain, but those are basically the different styles of skateboarding. years ago they started building the Denver Skate Park and 
Highlands Ranch, Redstone Park. Recently we got Castle Rock. I mean, I could go on and on. There's so many great skate parks now. In the tall grass of a long sun Quiet repast and I'm sweet nothings Come hell I'm The new Fair Play Park, uh, they have pool coping all the way around uh, the, the new edges of the pool. And I've seen a lot of the new skaters there. Just, wow, this is really cool. This is different. They even have this capsule thing at the end. So as you come carving down, you can actually go upside down in the capsule if you're good enough and come back around. So that stuff's really cool. Summer dress, your hair's wet, gets into our kisses. Yeah, it's definitely coming back. I mean, each park now is coming out with a crazier bowl. I mean, seriously. <laughs> There's not a park that you can go to now that doesn't have a bowl or just, I mean, a half pipe that's over six feet. They're, they're coming. Colorado, I mean, I think Colorado is becoming more of a thrasher state. I see it coming back. I see parks getting way bigger, uh, more bowls, uh, more eight foot walls, 11 foot walls, a lot more pool coping. Thrashing's coming back. In the next five years, Hopefully that'll just continue and keep growing. As more parks getting built, more people will keep skating and there'll be more need for skate parks. Is the summer really through? Uh, I don't think Thrashing's really coming back. Because it's already fucking here, bro.